All right guys, well I'm back today with another LPV video. And this particular low power variable optic is becoming one of my favorite and go-to optics. This one is made by Vortex. It's actually the Vortex Viper PST Gen 2 1 to 6 by 24 second focal plane rifle scope. Meaning the reticle itself stays that same size throughout the zoom level and you can range effectively at the maximum zoom level of 6. This goes down to the magnification of 1, which is very similar to a red dot. A lot of times though, optics fail in this category because a lot of people want to use their LPVs as red dots, but can't because the dot or reticle itself does not illuminate bright enough at that one power setting to truly and effectively use it as a red dot. I can honestly say this is one of the brightest optics I've ever seen on the one power setting, and it really does simulate a red dot. The only other one that I've tried is the more higher end Vortex, and that was very bright, but it came in at about the $1,200 price point. This particular optic comes in about half that price point at on sale right now for $599. Then you can pick up the mount and the throw lever we're going to talk about and have yourself a complete bundle perfect for the AR-15 platform. Before we dig too far deeper into the optic itself, let's talk about the mount and throw lever I selected because a lot of times the optic is only good as the mount and is sitting in. So you really want a high quality mount, but you've already spent about $5.99 on the optic, so you really don't want to break the bank with the mount. Vortex has you covered as well. This particular one is the Sport Series cantilever mount, the CM-202, and this mount offsets it about 2 inches to allow for the perfect eye relief. I want to give a huge shout out to Optics Planet for sending the scope, the mount, and the throw lever out to the channel for us to try out. These guys are a huge supporter of the channel and Optics Planet is always allowing us to try out new and unique things as well as things that we may not know if we really like to spend that money on. And this particular scope was one of those. I wasn't sure if it was going to be worth the $5.99, but honestly after shooting this, I'm so glad Optics Planet sent it out. Also, that $5.99 price will drop even more if you use the coupon code 704TACTICAL for 5% off of any Optics Planet order. The mount itself right here actually comes in for about $90, and the one that shifts it 3 inches forward comes in at about $100. Again, the code is valid. Let's talk a little bit about this throw lever. The throw lever we're using on this optic is the Switchview SV-5. Now this particular one is good for that Viper 1-6, to so make sure you get the correct throw lever for your optic. I believe there are a few other choices. This works really well. Installation was super simple and it just slides over and bolts on. This throw lever allows you to switch from the 1-6 to quickly for any type of 3-gun scenario or quick scenario where you need to shoot up close and then immediately far away. I think an LPV optic is only as good as the ability to adjust between the 1 and the 6 and how well you can use it as a red dot and how well you can use it as a 6 power setting. So having this throw lever is key if you're setting up this optic. The only downfall with this throw lever is it's $60, which seems a little bit high. But again, I've got that coupon code to bring it down. The throw lever itself, though, is nice and it is a good quality. So now let's talk about the optic itself and its performance down at the range. The first thing everybody wants to know if you're spending $600 on an optic is the glass clear. And yes, it is insanely clear. Looking through this glass is just very impressive, especially with all the coatings that they put on this. It works really well in low light scenarios as well as bright days. So you're not going to have any problems whatsoever with the glass and you will not be disappointed. The mount, throw lever, and optic interface nicely and I didn't see anything walking loose on the throw lever or the mount itself. Everything is really slick with the eye relief because of this offset and if you choose to use rings you may have to throw your stock out a little bit further when you decide to zoom this to the 6 power setting. I noticed this 2 inch offset with this optic the eye relief is perfect at the stock at the, about the second position so the eye relief is actually nice. Now I also want to bring up the eye box when you put it on the red dot setting at the 1 power. I really like to see a generous eye box on an LPV variable optic because you want to be able to use this in awkward situations in and around cars and barriers. And in those situations, the eye box is almost, you know, where you shift your head behind the optic, it can go black or the reticle can disappear. The eye box on this is actually fairly generous, allowing you to use this in awkward situations. 
sliding in and around the cars. It was really easy to pick this up on the one power setting and that dot gets super bright. Again, even on a bright sunny day, this thing is truly daytime bright and it is comparable with an actual red dot. I can rarely say that about an LPV and that is why this one stands so much more above than some of the others in these categories. The turrets themselves are capped, which is pretty slick because a lot of times you don't want to bump these while you're shooting. And I don't mind these turrets being capped because the reticle itself actually has a ton of information and it is the MRAD, the version that I have. It actually gives you hash marks and I'll roll in that reticle system right now to show you guys what I'm talking about. You can see the reticle starts off almost like a duplex reticle with very thick lines on the sides and at the bottom and then it goes down to fine lines to make those shots and then you can see the smaller hash marks and the larger hash marks. Now this is probably slightly different spacing obviously for the MOA and the MRAD. I tend to like the MRAD on the second focal plane scopes because it stays the same size throughout the zoom levels. You really want it to be effective at that distance shots so maybe at the six power setting you do want to be able to see it and i think the mrad is going to work really well i think the moa might just be a little bit too close in my opinion so if i had to choose this i would choose the mrad every time it worked really well in this reticle system made shots all the way out to 200 yards for me i did it though take it much past 200 yards talking about shooting at 200 yards i just want to bring up the glass clarity again it was so simple to make hits at that distance. It was like cheating. You could make out every detail on the target and really see where you're hitting that steel at 200 yards. I mean, no problems whatsoever. The clicks on the turrets are audible and tactile and actually took about three shots to sight this in. Took a shot at 25, then at 50, and then at 100. And I actually tracked perfectly. I put my sight on the target, I shot, the hit was here, I used the reticle itself to tell me how many mils I had to adjust it and then clicked over accordingly and the next shot was dead on. So this is perfect and it tracks very nicely. So, I mean, I have zero complaints about the turrets, the tracking and sighting this soft again. So a lot of people ask me if I was just buying one optic for my one AR-15, what would you recommend? And if price wasn't a factor, this would be the one. Now, obviously, there are some optics better than this, but you start climbing into the $800,000, $2,000 range. But I believe this can do a lot of what those can do, but for about half or even a third of the cost. This entire setup, the mount, the optic, and the throw lever from Optics Planet using that code comes out to be about $710 which is about the only negative because generally on this channel, I review high value and budget items. This is definitely high value, but it's nowhere near budget. But I can honestly say if I had to pick one optic in my arsenal to put on an AR-15, minus the $1,200 Vortex, this would be the one. And honestly, I'm not quite sure for your average shooter if it would be worth spending that extra money on the top tier Vortex if you really weren't in a military grade or police grade application or an incredibly competitive three gun shooter, I believe this would be plenty adequate for everything you can do, uh, more than adequate, just above and beyond. Its capabilities are impressive. It works well as a red dot and it works well as a distance optic all the way out to two, three, heck, even six, 700 yards from man sized targets. The mount and throw lever are almost a must to have this set up perfectly and I can absolutely recommend it. Stay tuned for this Alpha Shooting Sports Cold Hammer Forge Upper Assembly Review. This seems to be the perfect combination of a high quality tack driving 16 inch upper assembly and optic. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good one.